I want to talk about, uh, you know, leveling up, not being scared to go to the next level. Um, and I'm this is a message to myself. Um, so my desire is to acquire apartment buildings. It went quickly from I want for my business 50 properties in five years to I want seven apartment buildings in one year. Now, I initially started off thinking I wanted single family houses, but then I realized that with an apartment building, the impact is so much greater, so much quicker. One building has 50 units, so instead of having 50 properties in five years, with one building, I've got 50 units, that's 50 families that I can impact with one purchase. So you see why uh, the idea was, you know, exciting and it was, you know, it was just like a whole level up in my mind. And that's another point. You always level up in your mind before it happens in reality. Uh, there's a shift that has to happen in your mind to what you want and what you're capable of before you actually do it or take those steps to get to achieve that goal. So the level up happened in my mind and I remember when I thought like I have the audacity to be pursuing an apartment building when I don't know one person on the planet who owns an apartment building. I mean, of course I know people who own them, but I don't know anybody personally who owns an apartment building and I've never owned an apartment building. And who am I, you know, to go out and purchase an apartment building? And even when I called the owner of the apartment building that I wanted, she thought I was crazy because of how bold I was to call her and say, I want to buy your apartment building that's not even for sale. Um, and after having a conversation with her for about 20 minutes, she agreed to sell me her building that was not for sale. And I think a part of it was just because of the audacity to ask. Um, anyway, so the level up. Now for me to buy the apartment building, the building in total will cost about three and a half million dollars to buy and renovate it. Now that's a huge step up from buying a single family home that costs $100,000 and maybe 50,000 to renovate it. But the process is the same. But the, the level up is having the faith to believe that it's possible and that, you know, that I can do it and that I won't fail and that it'll, you know, I'll get approved for the loan and all those other things that we concern ourselves with. But if I work by faith, it's not my job to figure out how it's going to happen. It's my job to just level my faith up and then move move out and try to see what happens so i've been going through this process of really trying to get my guts to go uh go for it and over the course of doing it i've done so much i've, I've built so many pro formas i've talked to so many bankers i have uh you know i've i've talked to investors i've written proposals um, I'm on my way to do a pitch to a group in California. Um, and so it's it's like I am trying, but it never just seems like, you know, it's gonna happen. And nothing ever just seems like it's gonna happen until it happens and then you're like, wow, <laughs> what I went for actually happened. And I know somewhere deep inside of me that it will happen. I just don't know how it's gonna happen. So. I get to this point where I set up a call and I decide, you know what? They're telling me I need X, Y, Z, all these people I talk to in order to get approved for financing. What if I just reach out to somebody and ask them if they'll just give me 100% financing, which means I don't even need a down payment. And this guy, <laughs> this guy said, uh, yeah, he said, yeah, we can under, under certain circumstances give me a call. So when I give the guy a call, basically, he asked me about the deal and he's like, oh, okay, you know, 2.5 million uh, or three and a half million. Uh, you know, 
I only do deals to 20 million or more. So I'm just gonna be frank. I'm not gonna do the deal. I mean, there's somebody out there that'll do the deal and I know who they are. I'll find them and I'll put you in contact with them, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't have time. It's too small. It's just not, you know, 20 million to 50 million is my sweet spot. This is what he tells me. So I'm just sitting on the phone. Like in my mind, three and a half million is a lot of money. It's more money than what I have. So clearly it's a huge step up. But in his mind, is a huge step down and it's one that he doesn't have time to take so it leads me to my point when we level up in our minds what's big to us is still small to others what's impossible to us is ordinary to someone else what is like unattainable for us is simple for someone else in this man's mind it was simple and I had a napkin and I was writing notes and he told me exactly what to do if I want to get approved for the financing and how simple it can be and the only only difference is doing it and he literally is like you have a great deal what are you waiting for do it go do it like when you do it come back and I'll tell you what to do next but because of you know fear and, and not wanting to actually put action with the mental leveling up that's what always hinders us it's like in our mind we can see it but in reality we make excuses because the step seems too big or it seems too far apart or too difficult and his his point was listen if you ever want to do a deal with somebody like me you're gonna have to be a go-getter in a in a you know a mover and a shaker and not just a talker and if you want to do a 20 million dollar deal call me when you have it and i'll do it with you and in my mind when i got off the phone i'm just like i need to really like really begin to walk in the faith that i have in my heart because it's one thing to have the faith to believe and it's another thing to have the faith to act and the people are out there waiting to make our dreams come true if we would just level up all the way so level up people let's level up together and by the time i record another video i will have taken a huge step forward to purchase these seven apartment buildings that are in my heart all right god bless you